<clears throat> what's going on youtube it's your boy rich nice back once again today we're out in the shop and we're working on uh selena so we're going to replace the uh all-wheel drive pump this is the haldex pump right here here is the uh part number and all that good stuff that uh it came from here are your two 10 millimeter screws that hold it in we bought the kit, so with the kit, it came with some extra uh, O-rings and two more screws, and then it came with the actual Halidex fluid. Uh, it also came with a new drain plug, which I believe is an eight millimeter, and a field plug, which I believe is a uh, five millimeter. <clears throat> we also bought this uh, multi-purpose pump. That way we can transfer the fuel, uh, the fluid from here into the pump itself. So uh, we've already put the car up on jack stands so I can be able to get underneath it. So I'll show you uh, what we're talking about right now. So this right here is your Haldex pump. Here is your uh, drain. And back up here, where is it? Right here is your uh, fill. Fill, drain, pump itself. There's a plug that's, I'm not sure if you can see it, but right here on the corner up here, there's a plug that goes to this pump. Uh, we're supposed to have all wheel drive in this vehicle, but it's only front wheel drive right now because. I suspect that the screen on this pump is full. Uh, some of these will have a filter on the side, but this one doesn't. Uh, so what we'll do is uh, we'll get this drained and then we'll get this uh, fuel uh, fill cap off up here. And then we'll take our actual pump itself off, unclip it. There's a, uh, a clip that goes up here uh, that we'll have to undo to get the actual pump off. Uh, it should be like a 30 minute job, but we shall see. Uh, so, more to come. As you can see, the Halidex fluid is green. And it smells like diff. Once you uh, get your bolts loose, they come out like this. One. And you will have to use an extension to get to this boat up here. It just makes it a life a whole lot simpler. And then, basically, you just kind of rock this pump back and forth. As you can see, uh, it has those two. As you can see, just pop it out. Some more goobly goo. Uh, filter doesn't look too bad. Since we got a new pump, we're just going to go ahead and replace the whole thing. 
Um, again, it's held in by a wire that's still clipped in on the other side. As you can see. And then it has a little black clip that's up in there. I'm not sure if y'all can see that or not. But uh, anyway, when we get to the new pump, I'll show you what that little black clip looks like. Not sure how well y'all can see that, but right there is where the top of the black clip buckles in. And down here, right here, is where the bottom of that clip buckles in. And then you just plug it back into the top of this module right here. And it should be ready for, to be filled. Just like that. She's plugged in. Wires out of the way. New pump is in. It's tight. So we just got to feel, uh, tighten our drain plug and start pumping fluid. All right, so I kind of had to uh, jury rig uh, something to fit in the hole because the, uh, hopefully y'all can see that, but um, the Hose was too big for the actual hole itself. So we have that in there. So basically now it's just a matter of, as you can see the fluid will be going here shortly. There it goes. And basically you wanna fill it till it just starts coming out of the hole. Alright, as you can see, it started coming, dripping down. There you go, which means it's full. So what we'll do is we'll take this out. And we'll put our fill plug in. And then we'll let it run for a few minutes and check it again and we'll repeat the process uh, but I won't show you guys that so uh, it's the same Just like that, we got our plug in over here. We'll just let it run for a couple of minutes, recheck it, and then uh, we should be good to go. We'll tighten it up and everything should be good. And then we'll see if we actually have four wheel drive. 
all right so <clears throat> again do not i repeat do not try this at home um anyway we have it up on jack stands uh, as you can see back down there still uh so basically when you replace that pump we were only getting front wheel drive so basically that means the front wheels were just spinning the rear wheels were just following along just like a regular front wheel drive car but now that we replaced the pump if we come in here again don't try this at home put this in drive as you can see the rear wheels are spinning along with the front wheels same speed so that was the uh, goal which means the pump itself was bad as you can see all four wheels are still spinning so uh, we'll start the cleanup process I know y'all don't want to see that so what we'll do is uh, I'll clean all that up and then we'll be on to the next project as always thank you again for watching Please like, subscribe. It helps me do more projects like this. Uh, and we'll be on to the next one. As always, much love. Peace.